In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SrOH2 plus H3PO4. This is strontium hydroxide. This is phosphoric acid. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. I can see I have one strontium atom here and three here. That's probably a good thing to start out with. So I'll put three here. Now I can also see that I have two phosphate ions here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the H3PO4. That'll give me two phosphates to balance these two phosphates. So I have two times three, six hydrogens here, and then two times one, that's two times three, six hydrogens here. So I have 12 hydrogens. I guess I'll just put a six in front of the H2O. So that balances our molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Strontium hydroxide is considered a strong base. We're going to say that that's aqueous. Phosphoric acid is a weak acid, so it's going to be a weak electrolyte. It'll still dissolve and be aqueous, but since it's a weak electrolyte, we won't split it apart into its ions. Phosphates in general are insoluble. Strontium phosphate, that's insoluble. So these two react. They make this insoluble compound, so it's a solid falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitate. Then water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. So strontium is group two, that'll be two plus. The whole hydroxide ion, one minus, good one to remember. So we have three of these strontium ions. I'll write the states later. Plus we have two hydroxide ions times three six total hydroxide ions. We won't split this apart because we said it's a weak acid. So it's a weak electrolyte. We don't split apart weak electrolytes. This is a good one to remember. So we have two of these H3PO4. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. This precipitate here, we won't split that apart. So Sr3PO4, two. And then water, we don't split liquids apart either in net ionic equations, just H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These are on both sides. And actually, in this case, everything is unique in the reactants and products. So we can't cross out any spectator ions. That means the complete ionic equation is the same as the net ionic equation. The big thing to remember here is this H3PO4 phosphoric acid is one of the common weak acids, one you need to recognize. And even though it dissolves, we don't split it apart. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for strontium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have three times two plus, that's six plus. Then we have six times one minus, that's six minus. Those add up to a net charge of zero. These are all neutral net charge of zero. If you count the atoms, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for SRO H2 plus H3PO4. Thanks for watching.